Parkinson's is a progressive neurological disease. That's what we all know. But for us, it's something that we live with, that um, her father and my husband uh, has, and um, you know, that we, we you know, it, it's very personal for us. Talking to dad about it is probably the most difficult just because he cares and loves us so much and doesn't want to seem like he needs our help um, that I know it hurts him to talk about it sometimes. You know, it's funny with Parkinson's, it's, it's, it's not, only the, not only the effects of Parkinson's, but the way it affects your relationship with others. It's hard to decipher between whether it's, 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 a, it's a, an effect of Parkinson's or whether it's just getting older. You know, and so as, 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 as Penny and I have aged together, uh, we've we, we, we come closer in our relationship, we've become much deeper. Uh, and I'm sure Parkinson's has had something to do with that. Parkinson's is an all-consuming disease that you can never rest from. Just when you think you have it under control, you have to be attentive and vigilant to the fact that medicines that might control a symptom today won't control the same symptom tomorrow. And medicines that control one system, symptom will affect something else altogether. Keep your sense of humor. Laugh every day. Find something funny to laugh at. And uh, I'm probably driving her nuts with that. <laughs> Telling jokes and watching funny videos. But it's been real helpful for me. It's amazing to me. I can't. I can't think of what we hadn't discussed before. But when, <laughs> when truly, um, but when something new has taken place in your life and your life has changed because of it, it does open up a whole new topic of conversation. That, yeah, the dialogue, which you never expected to have before, but then you grow with that as well. It's always somebody else's family that said it could be important. Or somebody else's business associates. And then when you found out that you and your family member has it, then it puts a whole new meaning to the, to the simple word cure. It was hard for my husband because he didn't understand. He didn't know how to help him. Uh, and, you know, people with Parkinson's, they want to maintain their own dependability to a certain extent. But it got to a point where Dan could not drive. He could not take a step up. And my husband wanted to do so much for him and didn't know how. I know that if they would have had the benefit of more people like him and like her, my, my, my mother, they probably would have, um, I don't think the struggle would have been any different, but it might have been a little less lonely. It's easier to stay home and you're a little more comfortable, you know, but it's important to make those plans to go out of town, to make those plans to meet with friends and family. I believe there is a certain amount of shame when you have Parkinson's. He was such a successful and active man, and then he was stricken with it and he went downhill quickly. There was a lot of shame, even in the family. You know, we didn't want anybody to know. People are so much kinder, and I gave them <laughs> It was a, more sympathetic without a sense of being sorry for you. And uh, the thing I, I hear when I reach an impasse in a door that I don't feel I can get to that, to the, you know, to the imaginary door in my head, that they say, we're not going to rush you, just take your time. And they'll take that minute or ten minutes to help you uh, get move on your way, and if not, they don't make you feel embarrassed. Definitely with dad kind of being our leader, but with all five of us, it really has been um, turning something positive out of it and just not letting it be a diagnosis that um, does more than just consume us, but kind of inspires us to make a difference. 
and the thing about kicking Parkinson's is that it has brought this whole group and community to us. I mean, people think that we're helping a lot of people out there, but what we realize is that, that those individuals are really helping us and deal with our own journey. So we're very grateful. Please buy your tickets for the Kickin' Parkinson annual uh, premiere event at Stone Creek Club and Spa, September 24th at 7 p.m. Rock and Doopsie's playing. It's going to be a fabulous time. Wear your boots. Don't wear your boots. Just come kick your heels up with us.